Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin and welcome to a quick little video about creating jitter-free pixel art scaling in the Godot engine. Let me show you exactly what kind of an effect we're going to get. You can see here on the right, um, this is a, a sprite without the shader applied, You'll, it will be done using a shader. And you can see this guy is kind of jittery and the effect will be better or worse a little bit depending on your s screen resolution, uh, the resolution of your monitor. And so, but yeah, and then this side right here is much smoother, it doesn't have the jitter effect. Uh, and I think it looks quite a bit nicer. So first off, I wanna give credit to two people. Um, the first person is a Corian. He's in the Godot Discord. Um, the shader code here, uh, this function primarily was written, was, I mean, it was completely written by him. Uh, he originally made this shader for 3D, for pixel art inside of 3D, and it works great there as well. And um, there'll be a link in the description to uh, to kind of credit him. I asked him exactly how he wanted to be credited and it, if it would be okay if I shared this code and he said yes. So big thanks to him for sharing this code. Um, I just made very, very slight modifications to make this work for 2D um, pixel, art in, uh, pixel art inside of a 2D scene instead of pixel art inside of a 3D scene. So, um, Really, the credit goes to him. The other person is the background that I'm using for this video right here. This was, I found this on Open Game Art. It's a lovely little, uh, he calls it a Gothicvania town. And um, he or she, I actually don't know. And um, the name is Asimus. And I should mention as well that I'm not sure whether or not a Korean is. Uh, what their gender is either, um, but I, I, I guess I shouldn't assume that. But big, big thanks to both of them for uh, for helping with this video. I mean, I'm basically just sharing the work that they've done because I found it useful and I thought other people would find it useful as well. So make sure and check out the links in the description um, to see more of their work and to support them as well. So. Let's talk about how this works. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you'll need to have your sprite and there's going to be, so I've got two sprites here in the scene. I've got the town left and the town right, as you can see here. Um, in the town right, this, this image was imported using um, with filtering disabled and that's usually what you want to do to create nice pixel art because if you have filtering um, enabled and you re-import you can see it's quite blurry so usually disable filtering however with this shader applied um, you can see if I click on town left let me click on town left here and we come back to import you can see that filtering is enabled on this sprite right here. And that's because the shader needs to use the filtering. So if you disable the filtering, then it won't be able to work. So make sure when you import your pixel art that you leave filtering on, and then you can apply this shader. And the way that you apply it is if we come into our sprite here, I just clicked on the sprite for town left, there's a material and this material is just a shader material and it has a shader applied to it, which is the jitter-free pixel art shader. Um, and that's all you need to do. You, you would need to apply that material to every single piece of pixel art in your game, but then when you're zooming, it's going to look nice and clean. The, the slight trade-off is that there is a slight fuzz to the pixel art at certain zoom levels, but it's very, very subtle. And I think that it's much better than seeing this very harsh jitter on this side. So that's going to be it for this video. You'll find all the links to uh, the link to this project and the link to give credit to the people who helped um, contribute to this and make this this video possible in the description as well. I also wanted to give a shout out to Yan and his Kickstarter um, that he's doing. He's currently doing a Godot Kickstarter. It's a 3D. Uh, 
procedurally generated city with with cars in it and um it's also online so he's doing a kickstarter for that it's quite the quite the project and i i have already signed up for the kickstarter i'd recommend you guys check it out as well and i'll put a link for that into the description as well anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it and i will talk to you all later